Hello? Hello? Uh... Hello? 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 Okay! <laughs> Not going in there. We'll go ahead and find another way out, okay? Maybe, uh... Maybe back here? Ah! What the? Seriously? Hey! Hey, open up! Hey! Where is it? Oh! Give me that, you bitches! Born into a life of grief, suffering, and turmoil, you stumble through a wretched world cast in darkness that you yourself beset. Thanks for joining me, guys. Today, I'm reviewing Scorn, and what a unique and immersive experience this game was for me. Going into it, I knew it was going to be something eerie and out of the ordinary, so I turned off the lights, turned up my sound system, and for the next seven hours, let it take me wherever it's twisted and harrowing dreamscape desire. At its core, Scorn is a puzzle game that takes you on an adventure through a brilliant world, both in design and aesthetic. It has light elements of combat and player choice mixed in with some intense sequences where stealth and survival are required, but the heart of the game is really focused on the experience being in its world, figuring out its inner workings, and trying to understand the mystery of it all. Unsettling is the first word that comes to mind, but I think uncomfortable is a better word to describe my overall feeling in the game, and not in a bad way either. Despite constantly having this look on my face from how nasty or disturbing certain scenes or sequences were, it's so well done and inspires such a sense of curiosity that it was impossible to sit through its most grotesque moments and not want more. Everything you interact with has incredible animations, the puzzles themselves are fun to solve, and even cooler are their designs, which at times spread across entire levels, constructing these huge mechanical layouts that you have to explore to understand and reverse engineer to solve. And the process of doing so can get pretty dangerous because you'll encounter several alien-like organisms that you'll need to avoid or evade or even kill at times if they become aware of your presence. For the most part, they're pretty easy to bypass or kill, but they also do some hefty damage if you get caught off guard or make too many mistakes or get surrounded. There's also zero in-game menus and only a contextual HUD, which you can turn off completely if you want, so the game just begs you to sink in and become part of it. This touches on another theme I really appreciated about the gameplay as well, which is how symbiotic certain elements were and how they got weaved into the story and its characters. I'll talk about this more when I cover the story in just a sec, but at some point early in the game, you get attacked by a parasite that ends up attaching itself to you and becomes a big part of how you play out the game. On one hand, the parasite does do damage to you as you progress, but on the other hand, it also helps you out in a lot of really important ways, some of which end up being critical to you surviving and succeeding in the game. And this brutal codependency between both characters ends up extending throughout the game's world in various ways that at times are beneficial to you, but almost always come at a significant cost. And this give and take not only made everything super interesting and lent itself nicely to creating a vulnerable and uncomfortable experience, but it was also just really cool to be part of from beginning to end. If I were to be picky, which 
I'm gonna be, I definitely would have liked a bit more combat or puzzles that presented more of a challenge or even more things to interact with that might have made the world feel bigger and a place I could more easily get lost in before solving things as quickly as I did, but ultimately, within the first few minutes of the game, you get a sense of what the pace and gameplay is going to be like, and I was completely bought in and immersed, guys. Scorn's gameplay is without a doubt one of the coolest puzzle adventures I've played in a long time. I'm giving gameplay 4 out of 5 stars. Let's hit the graphics next, and this game is 100% eye candy. Yes, it's dark and demented, but in the most wonderful way, guys. With heavy inspiration from the works of H.R. Giger, Scorn depicts a biomechanical world where flesh, bone, and mechanical parts blend together in some beautifully creative ways. It's very alien and very terrifying a lot of the time, but also has such detail and intricacy that it's impossible not to admire and and contemplate the sheer artfulness of its designs alone. It's thrilling, sexual, brutal, and terrifying all at the same time. And this all gets portrayed in game by using some very impressive textures that allow the details of its designs to really come alive and some stunning lighting and fog effects that give objects and locations off in the distance or down dark hallways a sense of mystery that was extremely hard to peel my eyes away from. It is jaw-dropping beautiful. I'm giving graphics five out of five stars. Audio's up next, and the music fits the game perfectly. It's mostly atmospheric, and one of the things I loved about it was just how well it blended with the world. It's almost impossible to distinguish between sounds in the world and the music itself sometimes, and remember what I was saying about things being symbiotic? This is another example where the game merges two different elements in such a way that it really amplifies either the tension or mystery of the game's scenes as you play through them. On top of that, it simply carries a lot of emotion in its songs that boost the gameplay wonderfully, and if you have the setup to do it, I highly recommend playing the game with speakers and a subwoofer. There are a ton of low frequencies that come through beautifully with a subwoofer that growl and give the game an even more mournful, powerful, sinking feeling to it that you're just not going to get with headphones. There's no talking at all in the game. However, the sound effects are incredible here. I'm pretty sure an entire produce section of melons and berries were slaughtered in the making of this game, and it is awesome, guys. I'm giving audio five out of five stars. Story's up next, and Scorn puts you in the body of two entities that each awaken in different parts of the same nightmarish world. Like I mentioned, there's no talking, there's also no reading, no other characters to interact with other than the hellish creatures you'll encounter along the way. It's just you experiencing the journey and taking in what its world has in store for you. I was constantly in deep thought about the significance of its designs, the purpose of its puzzles, and on a deeper note, what it had to say about my place in it. Clearly, it's a world once inhabited by a high-functioning developed civilization, which is now an apocalyptic nightmare that you wake up in and must try to survive and make sense of. The developers have explained that they wanted the environment of the world to be a character itself in the game, and they absolutely succeeded here. And between that and the two characters you play, it tells a fascinating story that has had me pondering its meaning in conversation with others online and diving into its lore to try and decipher and understand more about it. And as elusive or obscure as that sounds, and as it all comes across, I found a meaningful story behind it all that was just awesome to be part of. I'm going to leave it there to not spoil anything, but I'll close by saying its story is a unique one, told in a unique way that totally fits its world and your journey through it. I'm giving it 4 out of 
five stars. Settings are up. Let's start with the key rebind ability first, which was great. Wasad, ESDF, and mouse and numpad can all get rebound. Video and graphics are next, and video wise, you get all the options you need here. They also include fidelity FX and a sharpness option, which I highly recommend bumping all the way up and was really nice to see. Scrolling down, you get all the graphics settings, which there's a great list of to tweak for performance or quality. Audio up which is perfect you do get a limited list of dials to tweak but there's no dialogue and with how well the music and game sounds work together i think what's here is fine lastly are the gameplay options and you don't get any colorblind modes or difficulty settings which is unfortunate both of those would have been nice but under controls you will find some additional gameplay options under camera settings that are great such as mouse sensitivity smoothing hud options and your field of view i'm giving settings five out of five stars Let's give it a final score, guys, and honestly, I can't get enough of this game. It is a unique and thrilling experience that really impressed me and is truly one of a kind. I'm giving Scorn 5 out of 5 stars. It's a masterpiece as much as it is an art piece, guys. If you are a fan of puzzle adventures and can deal with a bit of gore and horror and a slower haunting pace, pick this one up and let it take you on its dark, twisted adventure. I highly recommend it. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe and bell button below. Give me a like if you enjoyed the review and there's gonna be a Patreon link right here in just a second if you'd like to support the channel. A big thank you to all my amazing patrons for your support and I will see you on the next Turns Garage. Peace.